Hi everybody, I wanted to make a video about how to reconnect your PlayStation controller back to your PlayStation 4. I know there are other videos on this subject, but from the videos that I've seen, none of those solutions actually worked for me, and so I had to troubleshoot on my own. I even contacted PlayStation and had, ran through their support bot, and the support bot, those solutions didn't work either. Um, so I want to show you guys how to connect it if none of those other solutions work. And I'll run through with the solutions I tried and which ones didn't work and then let you know what did work for me at the very end of the video. So just to give some context, I like to play remote play on my iPad and connect, use my controller via Bluetooth to that. If you want to know how to connect your con controller via Bluetooth, there are videos that show that. But the issue is, is that when I turn off the Bluetooth and the controller disconnects, unfortunately, with this particular gold controller, I don't know why it doesn't do this with the other controllers I have, this red and this blue one, but for some reason with this gold one, it just does not like to connect back to the PlayStation 4 after doing that. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I've tried a whole bunch of solutions. I tried the old, usually very reliable taking your controller, plugging it in with the USB controller and trying to press the power button to turn it on. And unfortunately I just get blinking white light of death. I also tried to reset the controller. And so how you do that is you flip it over here to the back and there is a little uh, reset thingy here. You can press something in there and hold it for five seconds and that supposedly resets the controller but unfortunately that did not work with me either. I also tried unplugging my PlayStation 4 from the power outlet and then replugging it back in and trying to turn it on and that didn't work. Uh, the PlayStation bot told me that I should turn off, I should unpower my um, Wi-Fi, I should pull the power plug out of my Wi-Fi and leave that off and try to reconnect because supposedly sometimes Wi-Fi will mess up with the reconnection process. Tried that. That didn't work. I even read on Reddit one solution where you unplug your HDMI cable from the back of your PlayStation 4. And for some people, apparently that worked like magic. I tried it. It didn't work. So... After trying all those different things, you know, went to Reddit, watched YouTube videos, even contacted the PlayStation Store via the PlayStation Bot and ran through troubleshooting steps with that, nothing was working and I was definitely getting frustrated. I didn't want to send this in. I'm already sending in one other controller because it has a drift issue, so I didn't want to send in a second controller at the same time. Plus, as many of you already know, these serial numbers always get erased. By the way, heads up, if you ever buy a PlayStation controller, always take a picture of the serial number and just keep make sure you don't delete that picture or keep it around in case you need to turn it in because otherwise it's like impossible to find the serial number off of these things. So anyway, I did not want to send it into PlayStation. So I decided to do some more troubleshooting, try to figure it out, see if I could go into the settings of the PlayStation, uh, the PS4 itself, and fix it that way. Now... One caveat, you do need to have a working controller to do this. Hopefully you have one that is connected and works uh, with your PlayStation. If this is your only controller and it's the one that's not working and you can't get a hold of a second one that's working to do this with, you might be out of luck. But with the working controller, I, I guess one workaround, you could go through remote play and go into these settings and do that, which I think that would probably work too. I, I don't know. But either way, you're going to go over here to settings. And you're going to go to devices. And then from here, you're going to go to Bluetooth devices. Now you can see here that it's showing my um, DualShock 4 controllers. The one that's lit up green is the one that's currently working right now and the other two are currently off, including one of those is going to be this gold controller. Now, in order to get the gold controller to connect, what I've got to do 
So I've got to go through these and hit the Options button. It's to the right of the trackpad. Actually, I have, first I've got to select it, then click the Options button. And I'm going to click Forget Device. Yes, I want to forget it. Now I'm going to do this with all of my other controllers just because I'm not sure which one's which. They don't really like let you name them or do something to kind of figure out which one's which. So I'm just going to go ahead and forget all of them. They should all be able to connect after this. Perfect. Now the only controller that's showing is my one that I'm using right now. Now at this point what I need to do is go to my gold controller that's not working and I'm going to do what I do to connect it um, to Bluetooth on other devices which is pressing the share button and the power button at the same time now you can see here obviously I messed up <laughs> so I'm gonna try to we, we want the faster blinking you know the Bluetooth's working if it's doing like a fast pulsing blink at this point, I don't even think I need to be connected to the power, so I'm just going to disconnect from that. So let me try it again. You kind of have to do it just right. Press and hold the power and share button until you get the quick flashes. There we go. Trying to do this one-handed, it's a little trickier than it looks. Okay, I've got my quick flashes, and I've got my devices up here. I'm just going to back out and go back in. All right, I backed out and I went back in, and now you can see, oh, there's my refrigerator. I'm not going to connect to that. But you can see now there is a DualShock 4 controller. This is the gold one. This is the one that I have just now enabled Bluetooth connection on. It is now showing up, so I'm going to go ahead and click X or cross button to connect that. Yes, I want to register this Bluetooth device. I'm going to click yes. And bingo, it is now glowing the color I want it is now connected to the PlayStation. I can now do what I want to do here with this. And I'm connected. So that's how you do it. It's total pain in the butt. I mean, really, PlayStation, come on. Sony, we need to make this a little more seamless. It's a wonderful feature, but it is not as seamless as it should be. And especially, I don't know why, some controllers, it stops working where you can switch back and forth as easily. So that is how you do it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I hope this helps you guys out. I wish someone else had made a video about this. I haven't seen this solution anywhere else on, online. So hopefully this is a game changer and helps you guys out uh, so you don't have to send your controllers in to get them fixed.